Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going well. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, today I get to share a project with you for Spellbinders and we are using the Sunday Drive die set and then also there is an add-on set called um, Hitched. The Sunday Drive is a birthday um, elements in the little car here and then the Hitched is all about wedding. And so I thought we'd create a wedding card, something a little bit different than a typical wedding card, but it was super fun um, to play with. Now, the Sunday Drive set actually came out last month in the Spellbinders Project Kit. So if you have that, um, there's an add-on available. Um, if you guys want to check it out, everything will be linked down below. But this is the convertible base piece, and I thought we would do a monochromatic background, so we're bringing in some grays. There, we're going to use two different shades of gray, a medium and a dark gray. The medium gray that we're using is Riverstone, and then we have our dark gray, which is Rock Candy. We're also going to bring in some silver cardstock. I always keep my leftover silver cardstock from my card kits because it die cuts beautifully and it embosses beautifully, so that's what we're using today. We're going to do the mirrors and the bumper, and then for the uh, side view mirrors, and the, the tail lights, we're going to die cut it out twice with silver and then with white cardstock. Um, I'm using actually using whipped cream cardstock. We're going to use black licorice to cut out our tires and our our luggage rack and also our steering wheel. And then that's all we're going to use from the main Sunday drive set. Next, we're going to bring in the hitched, and we'll die cut out our um, sentiment there with the darkest gray again that is the riverstone and then um no i'm sorry rock candy and then we're gonna die cut it out with the whipped cream also because we're gonna layer both of them together so we're gonna put the darkest behind our sentiment here we'll just add a little glue and let's build our card it's super easy to build you think all these little pieces it's a little bit difficult but um it really is super easy i added my sentiment i'm gonna go ahead and pop it up with foam adhesive and then we'll set that aside and we're going to grab the base of our card and um, the trunk actually opens up, which is pretty cool. If you don't put foam adhesive behind it, you can actually um, have a little surprise message in there, which is super cute. <laughs> I'm going to add my tires to the very bottom first. I just tack it with a little dot of glue. Here's my little trunk. You can open it up. And then after we have this adhered, we'll add our um, sentiment. Okay, we'll remove um, some release paper from our bumper. I popped it up with foam adhesive also, and we'll add that right below our trunk area there. Next, we're gonna take this piece here. This piece here is like the convertible part of our convertible. We'll add that, and again, it's with the darker gray. And then this next piece that we're adding, we're gonna add a thin line of glue, and this, I believe, is like the interior part of the car. We'll add that, just doing our little layering, and sky's the limit with these cars, guys. I think um, this is like a perfect for masculine car too, along with the trucking through the seasons. Super playful. I'm going to add a thin line of glue on the reverse side, and then we'll add our window area. We'll just tack that down. And basically that's our car guys all we have to do is add our car bills and whistles which is this, the left and right mirrors and then also our little uh, tail light now again I tight cut out the um, tail lights with silver and the whipped cream card stock um, this way I can add that itty bitty piece that goes on the inside of the tail light with a different color just so it stands out we'll add our second little piece and we're gonna add little dots of glue to our mirrors and we'll add it to the bottom and then we just I like to add the glue to the mirrors and then pick up the car and then tack it down that way the car kind of picks it up since it is a smaller piece um, or you could just flip it over and then add a little glue and add it um, with your little um, gem picker upper but either way is fine easy to do I did add my steering wheel too just add a little glue on the reverse side and that is my little truck or my not my truck sorry my convertible I just think it's the neatest thing I'm gonna go ahead and add the la uh, luggage rack and in the birthday set the main um, city drive set there is a present in there so if you wanted to use the same colors and cut out some presents and put it behind that luggage rack I think that would look adorable too 
Now we're going to add our little string of tin cans. The tin cans are in two pieces. Um, I, I, die -cut, I die cut them out twice. So we have silver and gray. And um, I'm alternating them. So we have a couple different colors of cans. Um, next, I'm just taking four of the strings. And there's little dots on the end of the strings, guys. And the dots on the top and the, and the bottom. This makes it so easy for adhering your cans and your glue. Um, you just add dots of glue to the circle areas. And then you can just tack them behind um, your other pieces. Easy. I like that Spellbinder says that. And those little um, strings actually look like strings. They're very, um, very thin. Really neat. So I just chose four cans. And I think it's coming along really nicely. Now I have my greenery that is in the hitched add-on die set. Um, I wanted to add some little uh, foliages above the bumper and then above the um, hitched sentiment but um, I have my little white di uh, flowers die cut out also and I was afraid my white flowers would kind of get lost on the white foliage again we're going for a kind of monochromatic look and so I thought we'd bring in some tin pail ink it's very light gray ink and I'm doing a little bit of shading on that foliage I added three of kind of the um, the swags on the very bottom of the bumper and then we're going to add two above the hitched just adding a line of glue and then we'll go ahead and add our flowers i did add some smaller uh, foliage to the left and right of my car but boy um, as i was looking at it i thought wow that's a lot of foliage <laughs> so i'm going to do a little bit of rearranging in just a minute i do have two little flowers left over so i added two flowers to the tin cans in the center of my little tin can trail and there's my little adjustment I think that looks better okay we're gonna bring in some paper pad um, a paper pad it's called sparkling holidays um, there is a pattern paper in here that looks like a night sky with lots of stars in it so I trimmed down a panel that's three and three quarter inches by five inches we're gonna go ahead and adhere that to a standard a2 size card base and there's my little night sky. Now I'm going to bring in this piece of vellum. I thought the vellum would make the perfect moon and keeping it uh, monochromatic. It kind of turned gray when you add it to that background. I'm adding a little bit of glue and then we'll just tack down our convertible behind our little moon and then we'll pop that up with foam adhesive and place that on our panel. Now we need bells and whistles so I'm bringing in some rhinestones. Um, we're going to add them to the center of each one of our flowers. And I added them to the mirrors too, just for a little added, um, the left and right uh, side view mirrors, um, just for a little added detail. And then last but not least, we're going to add a little sparkle with some silver glitter, just adding some dots, lots of dots in our background for that sparkly look. But there's my monochromatic um, hitched card. I think it's super cute. Um, everything's listed below if you guys want to check it out. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely day and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>